Hey, good morning. I'm out here in the shop, uh, thinking around, and I thought I'd turn the camera on. I, uh, this is my old, uh, plum toolbox that I found at, um, at, um, Ed and Moe's Pawn Shop. <laughs> and this is the most handiest thing I'll show you. Get it up there. Come on. <laughs> It's better to do it with two hands, but this doggone thing's really handy. I need this little driver here. And, um, oh, hey, uh, a, a, guy, a guy named Ed sent me an entire quart of uh, Hoppies number nine. And uh, I tell you what, uh, this is the most effective. Uh, stain and rust remover I've tried out of all of them and thanks Ed for that and I still have these stones here I'm going to do stuff with them these are some brushes that uh, were sent with the hoppies and they're phosphor bronze and they seem to be more effective than, than uh, brass I was doing some touch up uh, with this all do some more with that. I've got, you know, I've always got these projects I'm trying to save a few bucks on and this is a bent or for some reason it doesn't run true ER40 uh, call it chuck um, with a 50 taper and uh, so I'm going to cut that off Cut the 40 taper off, and it's threaded in there, and I'm going to put a plug in there and make a uh, boring head uh, shank out of that. Then maybe I can salvage this. Um, I could uh, put this in the in the cutter grinder over there and re-grind this taper, but I've already got one of these, and this these things aren't worth a whole lot anymore. Um, actually, uh, a boring head <laughs> shanks worth more than a collet chuck these days in, in that taper. So, okay, well, I'm over here, and oh, I wanted to, no, that's over here. Oh, let's get over here. I got a big mess going here. Well, this uh, tool here, this boring head deal here with the, the tenth set uh, collar, um, came with this head on that collar, but you could also get um, the square head. And the problem is that this thing, um, they index these at the factory, and I cut out a brass uh, 3,000 thick shim, and it indexed it perfectly with the dial of the zero here, and the mark um, is in line like it was with this head. And this head, it, it, these are good, but I just find it, uh, I've been testing it, and I've just been finding it real, uh, more chatter and stuff than using the two inch uh, square head. And um, I'm running this head up, I, I think I was running about 1200 RPM, we'll crank it up and, uh, um, do a quick cut with it. Okay, I'll set this over here. Okay, I'm gonna fire this thing up. Here, I'll, I'll, uh, hook you up to the camera, to the tripod here. And, uh, oh, hang on. These things are finicky. There, you can see down there that, uh, that hole started up here. Okay, we're at 1300, almost 1400 RPM, and that's a little over a one inch hole, and I'm feeding it uh, eight ten thousandths. So let's see what happens. We got a, um, a 3,000th depth of cut.
the balance is still pretty good at uh, 1385 RPM. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think that's okay. It's uh, not quite the finish I'm getting using the um, um, more head, but um, it's good. Now I'm going to keep testing this a little bit. I'm going to pull the tool out. And uh, I've done the uh, here where on the y-axis, where this ink is here, there's a little tiny dot I made with a tiny center drill. So I can uh, loosen this up. And I point the dial away. You can bring the tool down like that. Put a square across the way here, square the head. Then you can adjust the tip of the tool on center with that dot, okay? That's important with the jig bore. And uh, I'm doing some tests here, and I'm going to remove the tool and sharpen it, and so I'll be able to better return it. Okay. Yeah, that's how that works. Well, I've still got this steel going here with the uh, the grinding in this, and I'll, I'll shoot those parts off. I think I'll have somebody help me uh, shoot that, and you can see how I operate the machine. And uh, it, it's uh, it's like the Bridgeport Mill. Uh, when you, uh, you don't want to uh, really tilt your head, do you? Because <laughs> then you got to put it back. So I got this uh, um, work head here. It's true, very true. And uh, you kind of want to try to leave it like that and do a bunch of things like... Um, uh, circle grind some end metals and, and stuff like that where you need it like that and then you can use uh, Alternative fixtures like I got this thing here. I got the diamond dresser in it But I can also uh, Put a collar chuck in it. So it has a boring bar in there and I can put uh, a regular uh, Sharpen my regular uh, lathe tools with this fixture and not disturb the workhead. If if uh, if I have the workhead basically disturbed, then I stick uh, like this vice in it and uh, this V block here. So there, there's a lot of different things you can do with uh, with uh, with the cutter grinder. So anyway, I'll I'll be back in a bit here, and uh, I just got so many things to do, and basically all I can do is just turn on the camera, because I've got all this tooling to make and make these parts fit, and make these born heads fit these old machines and stuff, and uh, to tool up this uh, horizontal mill and try to make it so I can share uh, some tooling with the uh, jig board. Okay, I'll be back soon. Okay, hope you're all having a good time. Bye-bye.